I'm going to import data from a spreadsheet into Insight Live. And so I'm already logged in and I'm going to click this link to go to the import dialog. And if this was not showing I would have clicked recipe import, but it is. So then I'm going to click generic CSV recipe file and click and take a look at the example here. Now this is called CSV data and CSV stands for comma separated values and so you see a lot of commas in here and they are simply separating the columns in the grid. I've already downloaded that sample file and I'm going to down or I'm going to open it in my spreadsheet program but before I do that notice right here the quotes around this and the reason for that is because this is a euro format number where they use the comma as the decimal and without the quotes that comma would separate the column. Okay, so now let's open this in my spreadsheet program. I'm going to use the defaults here, comma separating the column. Click OK. And here we have the data. And notice that the numbers with the comma decimal separator have or are in fact in a column. Now you'll find that there's a lot of flexibility here because this is Microsoft Excel and you can use all of its power to organize your recipes and so the format of rows and columns that you see here is what the Insight Live importer expects to see. Let's just take a look at this format a bit closer. These first two lines are the header lines and they're mandatory. They must be here. And the first column, name, that's mandatory as well and that of course is the title of each recipe. The keywords column or it can be also description is optional and if it's supplied it'll be used and mapped into the description in Insight Live. If it's not there then the color, cone and type will be combined and put into the description. The code, date, batch, picture and type codes columns will be mapped into the corresponding fields in Insight Live. If they're not, it's not mandatory that they be here but if they are here they'll be mapped. And of course the comments column is going to be mapped into the notes of the recipe in Insight Live. Now the mapping row here, uh, it's mandatory that the word mapping with a capital M be in the first column. And this row contains tags that map the columns into the Insight Live recipe appropriately. For example, it can be two things. The, co the mapping can have either the word notes or the word ignore in a column. Notes means that that uh, data item is going to be put into the notes of the recipe with, the, with that heading. And if it says ignore, then that column is going to be ignored. It will not be imported at all. And so in this case, the rating column is not going to be imported. And so this allows you to have data in your spreadsheet and tell Insight Live not to import it. Now, of course, the most important columns in this worksheet are the columns on the far right, the materials. And the materials have to be on the far right. You can't have any other columns after those materials because anything that's not recognized in these previous columns is going to be assumed to be a material in a recipe. And when my data is ready I need to make a CSV file. In order to do that I'll choose File, Save As, now it's defaulting here to the CSV file extension. I'm going to click Edit Filter Settings. And of course I want to have Automatic File Name Extension on because that .csv has to be on the end of that file for Insight Live to accept it. So then I'll click Save and we'll go Replace. And now it's saying that I'm going to lose formatting information if I save it as CSV, but that's fine. I don't need formatting information. And now the field delimiter is a comma, which of course is what I want. The text delimiter is a quote. Now I could tell it to quote all the cells, but I don't need to do that. As long as I have this set at a quote, then if the, the column contains a comma, it'll be quoted. If it doesn't, it won't. So then we'll OK and save it. And now I'll close the spreadsheet and we'll go back to Insight Live.
Now at the import page I need to make sure I've got the right type chosen. I've done that and I'll click choose file. I have it on my desktop and it's right here. I'll go choose. I'm going to prepend my name to each of those recipe names. Then we'll click upload. We've got two that we've inserted and here's a log file of what happened. Then I'll click home to go back home. And I'll take a look at these two recipes that I've imported. This first one here. Notice that the information has been distributed. Type codes have been assigned according to the column that I had and then this all, a default one that goes in with all CSV recipes. And notice how the color cone type and firing columns have been mapped into the notes because the description was provided in this recipe. Whereas if I click on the other one, the notes doesn't have that information. It just has the note that was in the column because it has been put here. Now if I don't like the way this import went, I can remove this batch. And the key to doing that is this batch number right here. So I'm going to search. No, I'll click advanced search, pardon me. And uh, choose batch number one. There's the two recipes. And then I can close delete batch, confirm, delete. Now they're gone. Now I'm going to go back to the import page to demonstrate one other thing. And that is the, I'll just show you in the spreadsheet here. You can also include a temperature column. And so these would be probably exclusive. You would either have something in the cone column or the temperature column, but not both. And the temperature column will be treated the same as the cone column. And so I've got that here. And so let's try importing that now. So I'll point to that file. And then we'll go upload. OK. Home. Take a look at that first recipe. So now this says cone 10 functional. Second one, clear 1180C base. So that is how to, how to import um, comma separated value recipes. If you have a special need or if you find a problem with the way the import is working, please feel free to contact us on the homepage of insightlive.com. Thank you.